This video is brought to you by Fox3 Managed Solutions. Fox3 provides turnkey DCS servers for any size squadron or air wing. Check them out at fox3ms.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the F-86 Sabre. Uh, I felt like messing around with this a little bit. It's been quite a while since I was in this jet. Uh, kind of missed it a little bit, not gonna lie. Uh, we're here in formation with a bunch of other Sabres. We're headed through Meg Alley and uh, we should find a bunch of MiGs to fight here today. Uh, as you watch this video, if you find yourself wanting to pick up the Saber, you can use the code on the screen now. That'll get you 10% off. Look at all those Sabers. The very iconic yellow stripe. We're gonna go ahead and climb though. I want to see if I can get an energy advantage. This kind of thing. You know, if you've watched some of the other World War II videos we've done, it's very important to have the uh, at least advantage of, of energy speed so I can cash it in you know if I want speed I can dump my nose and exchange my gravitational potential energy for kinetic energy uh, if I want you know gravitational potential I can convert my speed and climb away and if I can keep myself in a good energy state I should be very difficult to kill uh, we have a bunch of F-86's down there maneuvering it is going to be difficult to ID these targets because the F-86 and the MiG-15 look so similar from a distance. The silhouette of the, you know, cigarette style body and the swept wing. Those are all sabers. There are some very subtle, you know, differences. For example, in my opinion, the MiG-15 has a bit of a stubbier nose. And the F-86 is not as much swept wing, maybe just a couple degrees less. At least that's what it looks like. So I, those are the cues I look for. Obviously the yellow stripes are a big giveaway, but sometimes it's hard to see color depending on your uh, aspect and orientation, time of day, all that stuff. So I'm up here, nothing is up here with me it seems like. It seems every, everyone's down there uh, dogfighting somebody. And I'm not going down there until I can find a target. Look at this. Is that a MiG? That looks like a MiG to me. Kind of telling from the tail. Yeah, you got that North Korean camouflage across the top. That is a MiG-15. We're going to go after him here. Uh, and yes, I've turned off the lead computing. I prefer to deflection shoot in the F-86. The lead computing is also kind of primitive. So if you get too close to the ground, it doesn't work very well. I'm pulling hard here to get behind him. Well, kind of seems like he doesn't see me. Oh, maybe he does see me. He's breaking left. I still have a decent amount of energy, but I don't know if I have more than him. So I'm gonna have to really kill this guy. This is gonna have to happen. I think I'm in a, yeah, I'm pretty much in a similar energy state as him right now. And so he's gonna try to two circle fight me and I'm gonna get 50 cal on target. There we go. You need a lot of time on target with these 50 cals. Surprising to uh, break off a wing there. Usually you gotta keep pumping them full of 50 cal <laughs> to kill those guys. The uh, F-86 with the 50 cals, I think it was one of the last jets that had that. I think they slowly pull away from the 50 cals and start going to 20 millimeter. It's just you're asking a lot of the pilot. You know, you gotta, time on target is hard. It's hard to just continually stay on target like that. Why not just have a, you know, a, a round that makes quick work of your, your enemy? Um, like the MiG-15s, for example, they're firing 23 millimeter, which is a good round, and then also a 37 millimeter, which is just absolute airborne artillery. Um, now that 37 millimeter is intended for bombers, right? It's not intended for fighters, but you know sometimes you can land some pretty cool kills with it. Those are all sabers, except that guy. That guy was a. Uh, that's a MiG-15. As we dive down, lots of AAA in the area as well shooting at me it looks like. Whoa, lots of AAA. Pulling hard to stay with him here. Looks like he's chasing something. Uh, yeah, looks like he's chasing a saber, so if we can get him, we might be able to save this guy's life. Let me at least get some rounds and make him think about it. Yeah, so he breaks off, he breaks right. I can pull the lead, I got the lead, yeah. Hit him. And, uh, 
Uh, lots of triple A here, Flack. Uh, what's going on with this guy? I think I, I think I killed the pilot. <laughs> I think one of those rounds hit him uh, right in the head. Just gonna follow him down to make sure it's not like a fake out. But uh, yeah, that guy died. Must have put a 50 cal right through his head. <laughs> Rough day at the office for that guy. <laughs> Here, dude, hold this 50 cal for me real quick. <laughs> Alright, I don't see much else out here. We're good for now. So, I'm out here, minding my own business. And I picked up a tail. I checked my six and checked this out. Look at this guy. Got myself a tail. Got a nose counter him here. Uh, he is pretty fast. Oh, there's two of them. Interesting. <laughs> it's okay. We'll continue to nose counter. Pull up. Pull up to get away from that. Nice. Saw that coming. Whoo. All right. Uh, I'm super slow, though, so these guys are going to get away, and there's nothing I can do about it. Unless this guy crosses my nose. You want some of this? Oh, almost got him. All right. Looks like he's leaving. He's going to circle. And that's fine. As long as he's not on my six anymore, then I'm happy. That's fine. That's why you gotta check six, man. You never know who's back there. Alright, look at this guy. MiG-15, 12 o'clock high. Is that a MiG-15? No, that's a Sabre. <laughs> oh, that's a MiG-15. There we go. I knew I saw a MiG-15 around here. <laughs> Alright, this guy looks like he's actually chasing that Sabre. So, I think we are perfectly positioned to help our buddy out here. Let's get some rounds on him. At least try to scare him off a little bit. He didn't go for it. Still didn't hit him. Oh my god. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got him. Alright. Nice. Okay, that guy's gonna go down. He's done for. That pilot might actually be dead, to be honest with you. Alright, that's it. I'm not gonna waste any more ammo on that. He's done. Splash one. <laughs> you watched any of the World War II videos? You've seen me do this before, I just kind of sit up high on the dogfight and I just wait. You just wait for somebody who gets isolated, somebody who is slow, somebody who's, you know, got the correct aspect, and then you dive down on top of them, and you steal their soul. Speaking of which, look at this. Look at this. Uh, that is a MiG. But I'm not going to be able to... Was that a MiG? I don't even know. I dove down here, and everybody dove away. Everybody turned off. And that's good. That means everybody was checking their six. That's fine. We're going to climb, and we'll re-attack and reset. Okay, this guy doesn't see me on his six. Maybe he does. He's diving away. I don't think he sees me. He sees me now, though. <laughs> I just knocked off uh, an aileron or something off of him. And there he goes once again, diving down. Broke off his wing. I don't know what happened there. 50 cal damage? I have no idea. But as he dove down, uh, I guess it overstressed that wing damage and he just uh, smoked the ground there. Okay, we're going to climb back up and reset. The problem with some of these primitive jets is that if you get too fast, you kind of lose a lot of your maneuverability. So you got to be careful with that, especially when you're diving down behind these guys. I'm going to use a bit of the vertical to get behind this guy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And that guy's trying to two-circle fight me. Pretty normal for a MiG-15. But if I have the energy advantage, I can get my nose on him. Look at him. He broke off. He's chasing that F-86 that just crossed in front of him. Put some rounds on him to see if I can distract him.
Nice. Hits across both wings there. So he definitely felt that one. Uh, he is not... What's he doing? Just lighting this guy up. He's still just flying the same, not jinking. Oh, he's, uh... That's what he's doing. He's still fixated on that saber. Oh, he got the saber. Oh, no. Okay, I got him. A little too late. Another reason why you want better rounds than 50 cow. That guy should have been dead a long time ago. And he hits the ground and there goes the saber. I don't see a shoot from anybody. I have two tails again. Three tails? I can't- ow! Okay. Three tails? I couldn't tell. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that guy to shoot from that far away, but uh, he really shredded my wing there. I'm gonna climb. Okay. Ow. Alright, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. I misread their energy state, and uh, turns out they have plenty of energy to climb up here with me. Okay, look at this guy up high. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, I'm going out in a blaze of glory. 